Hi, the SI Meteorologist, Paul Dorian here on Thursday, August 16th. Very nice morning here in the Mid-Atlantic region. Cool frontal system finally passed off the East Coast late last night, ushering in some clearing skies and comfortable conditions. Today will be a spectacular day with plenty of sunshine, comfortable temperatures and humidity. Another strong cool front is now moving into the Midwest from the Northern Plains. It will move into the Northeastern part of the country late tomorrow and tomorrow night setting off another round of showers and thunderstorms and then cool weather will follow that for the latter part of the weekend into the early part of next week let's take a look at the latest surface map here's front number one that is now off the east coast and high pressure has taken over here in the mid-atlantic region again very nice conditions here dew points well, way down in the 60s even some areas maybe the upper 50s actually may drop as we go through the day today with some lowering overall humidity levels. Temperatures will be quite warm, but with the moderate to low humidity levels, it'll be rather comfortable. Here's another strong cool front right here, and it made a big change in Denver, Colorado, which hit about 90 degrees yesterday. This morning, right now, their temperatures are closer to 50 degrees, of basically a 40 degree drop from the highs yesterday to the lows early this morning. That cool air is advancing east across the country. There could be some Record lows in parts of the upper Midwest later on tonight with temperatures dropping down into the 40s. And there could be highs confined to the 70s here in the Mid-Atlantic region come Sunday and Monday, at least parts of the Mid-Atlantic. Here's the latest infrared satellite loop and really just one big blob of clouds here associated with that next strong cool front here over the Midwest. And there are some showers and thunderstorms here, but almost totally clear here in the Mid-Atlantic region. A very nice day with wall-to-wall -wall sunshine comfortable conditions and quite clear for the most part behind this frontal system up in the northern plains. All of this is dropping south and east and there will be some showers and thunderstorms moving into the mid-Atlantic region later on tomorrow, tomorrow night. Not necessarily on the severe side, but uh, it looks like just about everybody should get hit. And then that front kind of gets hung up a little bit as it reaches the east coast. So we'll, we, we will still have a continuation of a shower or thunderstorm threat on Saturday. Sunday looks like a very nice day, but again, this front does look like it'll kind of slow down and get a little bit hung up along the east coast on Saturday, so you cannot rule out a shower or a thunderstorm to start the weekend, but by Sunday, that should finally be pushing off, and Sunday looks like a very pleasant day, much like today will be here in the Mid-Atlantic. Here's the NAM forecast map for tomorrow morning, Friday morning. This is from last night's Zero Z run. By this time, the front is setting off some showers and thunderstorms right here over the Ohio Valley, moving into the mid-Atlantic region and the northeastern part of the country. The day will start off dry, but later on in the afternoon, especially tomorrow night, there can be showers or thunderstorms up and down the I-95 corridor. Again, not necessarily on the severe side, but uh, noticeable, and, and uh, everybody should get something. Now let's jump ahead to Saturday. And here's the forecast map for Saturday from last night's NAM model. And the front is kind of hung up here along the east coast, much like this last front did it. Once it reached the coast, it kind of weakened a little bit and, and didn't have much of a push behind it. And that gave us the possibility of some shower and thunderstorm activity yesterday. Same sort of thing will happen Saturday behind this frontal passage. It'll get hung up along the coast. Well, it certainly will not be an all-day rain, but it can be a shower or a thunderstorm or a couple of those during the day on Saturday right up and down the east coast until this front finally moves all the way off the coast by Sunday. Speaking of Sunday, this is the upper air chart for Sunday morning from last night's NAM 0Z run. Almost a winter-like upper air pattern here. Quite an impressive change. Just wanted to show this to see what a change in the pattern has, uh, will be occurring over the next couple of days. A deep trough here in the uh, Midwest, northeastern part of the country with a low pressure centered near the Hudson Bay region of Canada. And this, of course, ushers in strong north to northwesterly uh, winds of cool air. Again, some record lows possible over the next couple of nights here in the Midwest. And all of this will set up quite a cool spell, cooler than it's been, certainly, uh, beginning over the weekend and continuing into the early part of the next week. Meanwhile, the hot weather is pushed all the way out to the interior west, the interior southwest, with strong upper-level ridge out in that, that part of the country. Quite an impressive change here in the upper-level pattern and quite a reversal of temperatures for much of the country, especially the eastern half of the country, 
for the next several days and for the foreseeable future. Well, that's it for now for the SIWeather.com. I'm the SI meteorologist, Paul Dorian.